guys, it's Alicia. Nice to see you. It is Thursday. Actually, it's Friday morning. It's Thursday night. Um, we don't have Kitten Jack. Oh, she's growling at Cinnamon because Cinnamon keeps trying to attack her. Um, anyway, oh, there she is. Do the mama. Um, ended up taking her to the emergency vet's office in Charleston, and they had a big crowd. But, uh, they said that she looks fine. Give her a day or two. If she doesn't have them by Saturday, bring her in on Sunday, which is going to cost me an arm and a leg. Um, uh, but, uh, they said that she's okay. Everything's fine. Check the babies. Babies are active. They're fine. So, uh, but she's cleaning herself more. She's exposing her boobs more. I'm exhausted. I got a funny feeling she's going to wake me up in the middle of the night. And I'll just have to deal with it. But anyway. um, Toilet paper. <laughs> this is ridiculous, right? So y'all need to be looking because I am making... Somebody put on my Facebook page. And then with Michelle. The um, crocheted toilet paper. Well, it's really, it's not toilet paper because it's not paper because it's made with yarn. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so I've got a funny that I'm working on. Um, I am actually crocheting that TP, butt paper, butt wipes. I don't know what you call it. Uh, butt wipes on a spool. I, I haven't decided yet. Anyway, I am making it. Yep, sure I am, Michelle. I'm making it. Um, when you guys see it, it's going to be really hilarious. So, anyway. Um, my thumb will be wrapped probably for the next two or three weeks. Because uh, I decided to go to UGO of in Athens. Because they have a, it's a bigger store, better variety. More vegan options. Anyway. Um, and they have a huge meat section. They don't have one here. But anyway. Uh, when I went to go get in the car, I hit my thumb on the top of the well when I'm going to put the groceries in I hit my thumb on the top of the the door frame um and it snapped my middle my nail in the middle and snapped it back started bleeding profusely um there's nothing I can do about it I trimmed it back as far as I could and that didn't feel good so I've decided to keep it wrapped so hopefully it'll when it grows out i can snip it as it goes along and that was great um anyway so got a lot of photographing done for the shop today i mean not the shop but for the yeah for the for online sales but it's fun a lot of uh, ceiling fans and um light fixtures and stuff like that from uh from yeah from the warehouse anyway so I'm tired. I'm going to bed. It's late. She's at the foot of my bed now. Let's see if we can see her. See? She won't leave my side. She's just sitting there. Yeah. It's funny because when she lays out, she 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 spreads out. and it, It's hilarious. Like, her belly is like, like this on the side of her. And then we got the Sally Belly. She's our fat cat. See, Ellie is... Maddie got her for her fifth fifth birthday. She was 12 weeks old. Um, and Maddie's almost 13, so yeah, Ellie's, Ellie's right at about eight years old. Ramsey's going to be a year at the end of this month. They get their nuts chopped off next um, Friday, and I, I can't wait. Anyway, <laughs> that's all I got. Be looking for that... Uh, Corona TP to come. Can't be called TP though, can it? Anyway. Hell, babies used to use cloth diapers. Adults poop less than babies do. Why not? Rinse it out. Throw it in the dishwasher. Well, dish no. Throw it in the washing machine. Oh my gosh. The dishwasher. What is wrong? I'm going to bed. Peace out. Hey guys, it's Alicia. I'm going to make this one short and sweet. Um, this is for Friday's video, day 24. Um, so that makes what? 
What, three weeks? 24 into 7 and 24 is three weeks, right? Yep. Okay, so that makes three weeks. Three weeks of doing my channel. Appreciate everybody that has subscribed and is sticking with it. Um, if you're new to my channel, this is a daily vlog of mine and Matson's and the animals and cooking and um, rejoicing and fussing and <laughs> a little bit of everything. Nuttiness, craziness, silliness. Me just being stupid. You never know. Yeah, Maddie's just going, uh-huh. Anyway, this is for Friday, the 20, for the day 23, uh, 24. Did I say 24? Day 24. Yeah, 24, I think. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm losing track of days. Um, but I'm actually filming this Saturday, so I'm going to put up another video later for today. But I just wanted to say, um, I didn't film yesterday because it got kind of late. And then when, I'm kind of glad I didn't because um, I ended up going to Dipsy last night. And I very rarely go there on a Friday night. But, um... If I do go out on a Friday night, it's usually to the talk of the town, but I went to Gypsy for something pulled me there. And, and for one thing, I almost didn't get a parking spot because it was so packed. I know Mitch doesn't watch me, but if you guys are friends with Mitch, we need to encourage him. He needs to open up that back lot area where we used to park when it was the hilltop because there was no parking at all. Um, it was great. It was people to people. It was so nice. But the really cool thing about it, for one, when I got there... Um, this man was leaving and he offered to give me his spot, which was primo, which was really sweet. So I backed, I had trouble. He had to guide me out of there because once you get in there, somebody had parked their truck in the place that you could go down and turn around. Hmm. And if, if you guys know him, please tell him not to do that big white truck. Anyway, um, so, uh. So when I got there, he, he helped me navigate out and he backed up and I got his spot, which was really nice. But the reason why I was excited about being there, even though it was so crowded, was because I saw so many people I have not seen in forever. I'm talking years. So, uh, yeah, I got to see Jim and Gloria. Hey, guys. Um, I got to see Izzy. Oh, my gosh. I can't even tell you how long it's been since I've seen Izzy. Um, I got to see um, Gary and Linda. And I never really got to know Linda very well, but I know Gary. I've known Gary for, oh gosh, about 18, 19 years. And um, he was a Cleveland Bradley rival. Um, I got to see, of course, Beth and Michelle, my besties. Um, I got to see um, Laura and John, and I don't get to see them very often. Um, let's see, who else did I see? Of course, Yolanda. Hey, Yolanda. Yolanda was there with her two friends. Um, Rob was there, but I didn't say hi to him until towards the end of the night. Um, let's see. Who else was there? Um, I'm trying to think. Guys, please forgive me if you watch my channel and I forgot your name because I'm having a brain fog this morning. Oh, actually, this afternoon. Um, we are sitting here watching Top Chef. No, Master Chef, right? And I'm making a little little pink piggy for one of my piggy friends. I don't know if she watches this channel or not, but um, an old boss of mine. It's it's going to be a surprise. She doesn't know I'm going to end up, I'm going to drop it off at the office um, on my lunch break one day. But anyway, she collects pigs, so I found a pig pattern and I'm doing it. Um, let's see, who else did I see? I know, I'm trying to go around the room. All the regulars, uh, which was Tabitha and Andy. I don't think they watch my channel. I don't even know like my channel exists. Um, Tabitha and Andy. Um, then, of course, our, our bartender, who is also a friend, and that would be Miss Amanda. Hey, Amanda, I don't know if you watch me or not. Um, let's see. Amanda's dad was there. Of course, Mitch was there. A uh, guy I went to high school with, who was in my sister's class, my younger, my middle sister's class, a class of 87, he was there. He was the bouncer for the night. I can't remember his name. I'd have to look him up in the book. Very tall and lanky. Um, let's see, who else was there? I'm sure I'm missing somebody. And then, of course, um, David, or, or Dave, our, our karaoke host. Um, and I know he doesn't watch my channel. Anyway, but it was fun. Um, quick, re quick review. Last night for dinner, Matson and I had um, 
<sighs> from where I went shopping the day before, we went, uh, we had, um, it was vegetables, but it was um, in a tempura batter. It was really good. And I we ate the rest of the fried green beans. I did all this in my air fryer. And we had um, some mandarin orange chicken. It was a vegetarian tempura dipped chicken. And then you air fry it and then you mix it with this um, mandarin orange sauce. We had that. Let's see. And we had zucchini the night before though, right? We didn't have zucchini last night. We had it the night before. It was the night before. Night before, okay. Y'all gotta see my, my baby. See my baby. Say hi. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? No, no, we don't give mouth kisses. We don't give mouth kisses because we know where that tongue's been. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. If I want to kiss your butt, I'll just kiss your butt. Yes, I will. No, I won't. Ugh. Anyway. <laughs> and what about this run on TP, guys? Oh, my gosh. It's crazy, right? Mass hysteria. Bradley Count is out for another week. Maddie's going to have an extra daily chore every day to do, or she gets all of her electronics taken away for the next day. Every day. Oh, yeah. It's happening. Yeah. You love me like that. Anyway. All right. I will see you guys later tonight. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, and I will see you guys later tonight. Peace out. Hey guys, as I said, I promised I'd get to you before, well, right at midnight on <laughs> Saturday. So I've been stitching pretty much all day. Um, did a little cooking in the kitchen, some cleaning, and, um, well, not really cleaning, washing dishes. I swept a little bit. That was about it. Doing major cleaning tomorrow. Doing lots of laundry tomorrow. Um, I will probably be filming this actually from the laundromat. There's no telling. But we are in the process of having a midnight snack. Um, I did a tutorial and pretty much recuperated from last night. So, um, loaded, loaded a craft channel video for a cross stitch giveaway. And, um, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. Just spent time stitching, making my new little pig. This is, I gotta show you, this is so cute. I think I showed you this earlier. It's one of his little ears. So cute. There's his little snout. <laughs> so I haven't finished him because I was working on, um, oh, I was going to tell you guys. All right. So this is what I did the tutorial on is for reusable, um, body wipes. Yeah. For those of you who run out of toilet paper, if you end up being quarantined or you can either watch my channel and learn how to do it yourself, or you can order them from me and I'll sell them to you. Um, I will make them and I will sell them to you. <laughs> I'm serious. I will do it. Um, so I've got this one, which of course now with the light in my behind me, it's going to show through, but it's really not, it's not really, I need to go down here so you can get out of the light. So it, see, that's what it looks like. It's not, uh, it's not see-through like with the lamp behind me. There's one design and here's the other one. This one has grooves to get in those hard to reach places. Um, so they come in a set of two. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be a dollar fifty a piece. And the reason for that is because I'm using a hundred percent cotton yarn and it's three, uh, two 99 and three 99 for a ball, a small, let me show you how small this ball of cotton, of cotton is. So the cotton ball is only about this small. Um, so yeah, uh, these are, um, if you, if just regular price, they are, if you guys don't know, they're like. $2.99 or $3.99, depending. I've had those a while, but anyway, so I've got, I've got the, the pink and blues and I, I've got the, the camo, kind of camouflage one. I've got some other ones I'm in, in the makings of, but anyway, so yeah, so that would be, um, body wipes. We will call it body wipes. Um, it can't be toilet paper because number one, it's not made out of paper and you cannot put it in your toilet. We will call them body wipes. Um, but yeah. I'm serious. Um, and that's what I found out why people were taking all the toilet paper and the goods because number one, the quarantine businesses are shutting down. Schools are closing. Um, we don't have mass hysteria yet, but if this keeps up, we will because people will be freaking out because they can't get anything because everybody, you had your people who hoarded. I got one pack of toilet paper. 
I already had a pack at the house. I figured that's enough for me and my daughter. But anyway, so, uh, so yeah, I'm serious. You guys are interested. I will make you some. They're $1.50 a piece. And I will sell them to you. I will make them in hordes if you would like. Um, it's not me taking advantage of the situation because I want to make that very clear. Um, you can buy them as gag gifts if you want. I'm actually in the process of making a gag gift. Um, let's see if I can do it this way. Toilet paper roll. Separation. And then it will go on an actual toilet paper roll. That is just a gag gift. That's for people who want to give it to someone who's freaking out or if someone who wants to give it as a Christmas gift, as a remember, um, remember the Corona virus, um, mass hysteria. Anyway, um, I am going to make those. Um, these are going to be in my shop, but I did do a tutorial. So if you guys were interested in making your own, by all means, feel free. Just follow my instructions and you can have your own body wipes. Um, it, it'd be no different than using a cloth baby diaper back in the day. Um, what we used to do with the cloth baby diapers is we would wipe the butt. We would rinse it out or we would take the, the cloth diaper off the babies. And you older people, you understand what I'm talking about from my generation and younger. I mean, older before anyway, um, you would take off the cloth diaper. You would wipe the bottom with the end of the clean part of the cloth diaper. That was your wipey back then. And you would shake it in the commode and you would flush, flush it away. And if it was a urine diaper, you would just rinse it out. Same with the poopy diaper. You rinse it out and you wring it out and you throw it in the washing machine. Of course, the other day I said the dishwasher. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyway, so, yeah, just hit me up. Let me know. You can email me at young40mom at gmail.com. Or you can message me here on Facebook. Or uh, you can message me on um uh, in the comments below for YouTube. It's up to you if you're interested. But anyway, so yeah, this is Young 40 Mom Raw. Alicia, peace out. Hey guys, it's Alicia. How are you guys doing on this Sunday evening? Um, it is almost 8.30. Um, I have been working on splicing my video together and getting it ready. Um, I will see if I can put a link um, for you guys that are interested that crochet um, for the, the butt wipes that uh, explains more in the video but anyway so um, I'm working on my my toilet paper gag gift <laughs> that's what I've got so far Maddie said she wants to buy a roll just so that she can burn it because she thinks it's ridiculous I um, said so it's just for fun it's just to help break up the monotony and the hysteria and the panics and the because it's it's going to get worse um human nature i suppose but anyway so um i'm going to put it more i'm going to have the picture of the thumbnail for this it's going to be um what we had for dinner um i'll put a picture at the end as well but we had um tofu teriyaki um Bell pepper fried rice with mushrooms and onions. Well, Maddie's making faces at me. And um, uh, fresh green beans sauteed in a ginger sauce. <sighs> Before that, I fried a bunch of new potatoes up. It was really good. But anyway, so vegan life. There goes part of my life. Um, so far, so good. Enjoying our day. Relaxing, chilling. Not doing laundry after all. I've got another pair of pants I can wear tomorrow. So we are going, tomorrow we are going to do laundry. I wanted a video bomb. <laughs> video bomb. Anyway, we're going to do laundry tomorrow because I've got another pair of pants I can wear for work. I've got like five dresses I can wear, but I can't wear a dress to this job because I have, sometimes I have to climb up a really tall ladder and that would just not be smart. Although my dresses are really comfortable enough to where I could, could wear them to work, but Yes, it's not smart. Um, I, I do too much physical activity at this job. It's not much, but it's more than I, at my other job. Anyway. <laughs> Looks like this video is going to be short, sweet, to the point. I've been doing a lot of stitching. Um, here are some more of my... Let's see if I've got... Here's another wipe that I did. 
This one isn't a hundred percent cotton, but it's um, pretty. Oh, the lighting. There we go. It's from a Karen Cotton Cake, is what they call it. Karen Cotton Cake, I think. Yeah, Karen Cotton Cake. I like this. Pretty. It's like eighty percent cotton, twenty percent acrylic, and it's really soft. But anyway, so I've been having fun with that. Um. And working on my computer and what else have I been doing today I haven't done the body of the pig yet I've got the tail the ears the yeah so when I get it done I'll show you guys I know I know it's not a craft channel but I still want to show you guys what I what I did because I'll be pr proud of it and it'd be my first pig and be so cute but so yeah so it's been a lazy crafting day for me uh, still no kittens um, the vet said that as long as there's movement, she's fine. It's when they start slowing down and they don't move for a while that we need to start watching and being concerned. The other day must have been just a fluke. I don't know what the heck was going on. Maybe she was just in pain. They, one, one of them was crooked. Who knows? But um, she's still in the natural state, so everything's fine. Um, we're not worried about her anymore. We're just going to see what happens. Um, I'm not freaking out anymore. <laughs> just, I have been reassured. Um, but yeah, so that's where we are with the kitten. Kitties. Babies. Um, <gasps> what is on your... Matson? Matson? What? There's something all over Ramsey's face. Come here. Something's not right. He's got a big black streak down the side of his face. Can you guys see his face? Do you what see it? I don't know. Go get a paper towel, wet paper towel, and, and wipe it off of him, please. Go. Thank you. I, I were you outside with him? You were you watching him? Yeah, but I was also holding cinnamon. You were holding cinnamon. Why did you hold cinnamon? Because he's cinnamon. He's allowed to go out now. He actually prefers to be out now. Well, at some point, Ramsey must have rubbed his face on something. Yeah, you're going to have to hold him and then wipe him. Hey, no, no, be nice and just wipe him. Do his face first, please. Just. Oh, that's. What is it? Oh, God. Oh, it, I can't handle that. It's, he's rubbed it. He can't be on the couch? Okay, we got to go because apparently he Ramsey has rubbed himself in some poop. I, I will see you guys later. Have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out. All right, had to give Ramsey a bath, so let him go. Let's see what he does. Okay, I, he, he wants to stay in the shower. Oh, no, just watch. That's where it begins. <laughs> just watch. That's what, now watch him, he's going to start rubbing all over. He's got to get his smell back. Aww. That's what he's trying to do. Oh, now he's going to go crazy. Nope, he's running to his house. He's going to rub on his blanket in his house. Oh so he can get some more of a smell on him. Oh my god. Ramsey! Let's go! <coughs> we'll get it off the couch. Ramsey! Where'd you go? Not on the floor. I know. Ramsey! Ramsey. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? <coughs> There's Boo Boo Kitty. Oh, so what you think, huh? Are you going to pop? If I poke it, oh, Midnight wants to get in the shop. There he is. He came out. Look at there he is. There he is. <coughs> Are you going to rub all over everything? Yep, rubbing all over the blanket, trying to get his smell back. <laughs> what do you think? <gasps> Ramsey, are you all clean? Are you clean? Huh? He's running back into his house again. What are you doing? What are you doing? He's rubbing all over his blanket. He's trying to get his smell back. He's got his home just the way he wants it. Have you seen inside? He's got three blankets. No, he's got two blankets. And then his bed. That's a house. See, that's my house. You okay? 
Me nice guy getting on it. Oh, I'm look at it. All right. I thought he was going to do a little bit more than that. That's the blanket that I use. So I want to I should close him in there at night. I put the blanket down so it'll be dark so he'll know it's nighttime. And he's been doing pretty good about sleeping through the night <laughs> because he's rubbing on his blanket now. He's going crazy. He'll start running back and forth throughout the house. Where'd he go? He went to his... Oh, oh, that's his other bed by the cat tree. What you doing? Huh? Are you rubbing? Are you rubbing? Huh? Are you clean? Say, yes, I'm all clean. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I don't know what he rubbed in. What, what you doing? What you doing? You want me to sit down? Okay, I'll go sit down. You want to sit down over here? Is that where I'm going to be? Huh? Over here? Yeah? Is that what you want? You want me to sit down? Where are you going? Huh? What you doing? Where are you going? Where are you going? What you doing? Huh? What you doing? I'm leaving. This is insane. Oh, my word. He's got three. He's got three pillows. He's got this one and then the other two. Rotten. You rotten. Yes, you rotten. What you trying to get on there, huh? You trying to rub it off or rub it on? What you doing? Are you huffing and puffing? Are you huffing and puffing? Oh my gosh. There we go. I love it. I love it. When a dog gets a bath, that's what happens. They go nuts. They go nuts. You going back in your house? All right. We're done. He's staring at the phone because of the light. He was going nuts a minute ago because it he took it out of my hand and it's it's still warm. If the light wasn't on, he would probably still be bouncing up and down going crazy. Is it still hot? I guess not. You want to steal another one from me? These are uh, batter dip vegetables. He's got a carrot. <clears throat> getting ready to fill my ice yarn haul it's sitting over there on the table right there got it in today you want to steal another one you gonna steal another one what's this is that mine what 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 the hey that's mine Gonna move it around to cool it off. That's what he's doing. <laughs> he's pouncing on it like a like a cat does a rabbit. Well, when like when a dog finds a mouse or a shrew out in the yard and they pounce up and down. It's so funny. Oh, oh, he likes it. Yeah. Well, I, I air fried it. I didn't batter fry. I didn't uh, deep fry it. Because they've already been deep fried once when you get them out of before you get them at when you get them at the grocery store from the freezer. So why deep fry them again? You can bake them in the oven, so I just put them in the air fryer. Turn out really good and crispy. Oh well, sorry about that. I thought you guys were gonna be a little bit more entertained than that. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Alicia coming to you on a Monday night. Just got through doing the last bit of my shopping. We needed bananas because Publix had none. 
I was told Walmart had none, but then I found out that they had green ones, which is fine because they get them green and they sit on the shelf and they wrap it. They do that at your house. In fact, they do that quicker at your house because I can get a bunch of bananas that are semi-green and two days later they're almost brown. That's an exaggeration, but it's not really. So, we are... I wish I could flip the camera around. I don't think I can. I can take a picture, but I don't think I can flip it around. But anyway, because of that, I took pictures. We are stocked. We are ready for the corona apocalypse. Um, I just, but it's not funny. It's not. Um, every, store, every store that I went to, there were people everywhere. I just got a little bit of this and that. But Publix had their vegan meat. Buy one, get one free for the Gardein stuff. And if I can't get Morningstar, which most, some Morningstar is vegetarian. You have to watch it. It's like 50-50 vegetarian, vegan, which means they either use eggs or milk. And we are whole food plant-based. Um, even though we try to stay away from the processed stuff, we do eat it occasionally. And I would like to have some in my freezer, just in case, whenever I need it. We ever get a hankering for a burger or something because tonight we did laundry and we picked up Hardy's um, Beyond Burger. Was it Beyond Burger or Ultimate Burger at Hardy's? Beyond Burger, yeah. So you have to tell them no cheese, no mayo. I put extra ketchup on mine. <gasps> Ramsey, that is not yours. This is why. Take him and put him in his house, please. Growl at her. That's her food. He snarled. You should have seen his face. It was scary like Cujo. He was like Cujo puppy. Dang. You don't have to lock it. Just push it too and he'll come out when he's done. Anyway. So. Yeah, we got Cujo doggy. So I finally got some flea pills. Let me finish with the food, and then I'll tell you guys I got some flea pills in the mail, which I had to go to the post office and pick up and sign for, which was really weird. I wasn't expecting that. I bought it off of eBay. Um, I've been buying... Let's see, are they in here? Yes, I've been buying... These. Off of eBay. And it's for dogs and cats, 2 to 30 pounds, because you know my chihuahua, she, he didn't weigh more than 4 pounds. Maybe. If that, probably less than that. He weighed 3.5 pounds last time he went to the vet. I don't think he's gained any weight. I don't think he's going to get any bigger. I think he is the size he's going to be. Anyway, so these are like a daily pill. You get 50 of them for like 10 bucks. It works for the day. It, it works for 24 hours, and it helps keep the flea, under, flea problem under control if you have one. Because I have four cats and a dog. So, um, I have bought... The monthly pill from this company and for I think it was eight or ten pills it was like 1895 or something no I take that back this is 1895 for 50 pills which is worth it because I only give it to them like once a week and it, it keeps them under control it's great um, <clears throat> you can give it to them daily but I only give it to them once a week because they don't go out very often they're not supposed to go out at all Ramsey does but anyway so I thought I'd try something different that company, I went to their website and I ordered the monthly pill. And like I said, you got like 8 or 10 pills. So like, it was like 18 or $20. Doesn't work. Nope. Doesn't work. So I went back to the daily ones off the person that I get them from eBay. It's the same company. But the monthly ones don't work. So, I mean, why don't I get 50 pills? No, it's $10. No, 18 Anyway. Why not get 50 pills for the same price as I was getting for 10? It works better. Anyway, so I thought I'd try something different. We'll see how this goes. We gave this to them tonight. It is a pill form. I had to go to the post office and sign for it, and that's this. So I thought I'd give it a try, and it says it's for da dogs and cat purpose only. Keep out of reach of children. It's a once a month, once, once a month. It's a once a month pill. I need to take my medicine and go to bed. Anyway, it's for heartworm, um, mange, ticks, fleas, and it's supposed to control them for up to a month. So, I bought two boxes of these, and they came from Thailand. I was not expecting that. 
when I ordered them from eBay, everything was in English. I didn't, it didn't say, I, the company was in Thailand. Anyway. Ramsey! Matson, you're not keeping an eye on him. Boy, that is the cat food. You want to get sick? There you go, boo-boo kitty. You eat it. You eat it, boo-boo kitty. Bless her. Anyway. So we'll see how this does. Um, and I'll let you guys know. And if it's any good, I will give you the link. Um, yeah. So eBay. So one tablet. But look, it's in Thai. Read instructions carefully, it says. The instructions, I open up the paper, the whole paper is in Thailand. It's in Thai. Not Thailand. That's like saying our, our that's like saying everything is Spain instead of Spanish. Anyway, <laughs> it's all in Thai. Um, so we'll see how it goes. If it works out good, don't you even think about it. Maddie, call him, please. Thank you. Thank you. Um Anyway, so if it works good, I will let you guys know it's for the month. And if it does good, then awesome. Anyway, I'm going to leave pictures at the end of this clip of uh, my hoarding, <laughs> my food hoarding. We're set, at least for a couple weeks. I got two big bunches of bananas. It's like, let's see, five. So there's eight in this bunch, and I think there's... There's seven in that bunch, but we'll go through the bananas. Because once they start to get spots on them, and they get to the point to where I won't eat them, I will peel them, chop them up, put them in the freezer, use them for smoothies. Awesome. Awesome. Um, I used to do that with banana bread. I'd put them in there and set them aside for banana bread, but now I just put them in for smoothies. Um, what is that? Oh, doctor. It's like, oh, what is that on the counter? Dogs got a treat. The cats got a treat because they all took their pills very nicely. And it was easier to get these pills down than it is to get those capsules down. Um, although Ramsey, will, he'll just chew that capsule right up. No problem. Anyway, so that's what's going on. Uh, we went and did laundry. We're coming back. Yeah, finally got everything organized. I'm going to go do my clothes, put them away. It is a quarter after 10, take my pills, and go to bed. And I guess that's it. You guys got any questions? Yeah, let me know. I can tell you about my adventure at Publix and Food Line. Food Line actually had more than I thought they would. They did have some empty spots, though. I didn't look at their bread. They had two vats full of bananas. And they weren't completely green. So I'll show you. So, yeah. They'll be ready to eat in a day or two. Anyway, although some people like to eat them that way with some green on them. I like them when they're high yellow and just a little bit of green on the tips. Just the tips. Just the tips. My friends will know that reference if they've ever seen Sausage Party. Shh. Anyway. Oh, you can lick it now. It's empty. Midnight done beat you to it. Yes, he did. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Hey guys, it's Alicia coming to you with your daily vlog. Um, it is 11 o'clock. I wasn't going to do a daily vlog because I did a live chat on Facebook with, well, it wasn't a live chat. It was me talking to the cat. Um, she had her kittens. She had five. And they're very unusually marked. And already two people want three of them, which is good. Um, we're still trying to find a home for cinnamon. I will put a picture at the end of this video. Well, no, I guess I can't put a picture at the end of this video because I am recording it for Facebook and not on my phone, which I should do it on my phone because um, then I could put the pictures of the babies. But if you're interested, 
um, and you want to go see the video clip, the live clip that I did on my Facebook page, um, look for Alicia M. James. It's A-L-I-S-H-I-A M. James. I can put that in the description box below if you're interested. Um, I think it, it's about six or seven minutes long. But anyway, uh, she did good. And um, things are kind of quiet right now, which is nice. The babies aren't really crying yet because she's she's feeding them until they're full. Oh, there's a cat behind my couch doing God knows what. Anyway, so we want to get back down to three cats instead of nine. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, cause I got four cats and she had five babies. So nine. We want to get back down to three. We are only keeping midnight. Ellie. And Boo Boo Kitty. And then, of course, Ramsey. We gotta find a home for... Yeah. We gotta find a home for little man. He's so sweet. It's just that he's very hyper. Well, when you got your back turned, he's hyper. When you go to sleep, when you can't see him. But when you're around him, he's he's, he's a perfect little angel. He gets into everything when you're not looking. Anyway, I just now recently started letting him go outside because he needs that release. Um, today's Wednesday. In two days on Friday, him and Ramsey will both be getting snipped. So that might make a difference. Who knows? We'll see. Might calm him down a little bit. Um, it will prevent Ramsey, hopefully, from wanting to hump the cat. <laughs> anyway. So, I don't have much. Um, I am now going to work on his dog collar. And this is the colors. Isn't that cool? It's so pretty. I don't know why, but every time I go like this, and I do not have a light shining on me. It's the way it's filming. It's weird. But if I turn it this way, it gets dim and very, it's like very calm. I like that. Looks nice this way. Maybe I should be sitting over there, but over here it's like, I think it's because the light's right above my head. Oh, maybe if I turn this way. Yeah. No much difference. You guys see that right there? That's yarn. I got a film. But my ice yarn haul that I got, I haven't done that yet for my uh, craft channel. But anyway... Thank you guys for watching today. I'm sorry it's not much. Uh, the most activity was... Oh, yeah. Other than the, the kittens being born this morning. One plopped out right before I left for work. Maddie said one plopped out right after I right after I walked out the door. And she said and the rest of them were like within an hour, an hour and a half. And they were all, all five of them were out. But anyway, when I got home, my hands were full. So I tried to get her to open the door. And she went to go open the door, um, and she couldn't undo the bolt lock. She kept flipping it back and forth. I'm like, honey, you got to do it this way. I did. So I had to put my key in and flip it. I had no problems. I opened it, and I said, I put my stuff down and started talking to her, and she, she babbled, and then she walked away, and then stumbled and just passed out on the ground. I'm like freaking out. I'm staying calm. But I can't figure out what's wrong with my daughter. Um, we had, uh, sorry about that. We had, um, when I had taken her to the doctor three weeks ago, I think it was like three or four weeks ago, um, she had strep. And I asked the doctor about it because she did that one time and banned. But she said it wasn't as bad as it was here today. Um, and the doctor said, she's not drinking enough water. She's dehydrated. So, she wants her to drink 64 ounces of water. When she started drinking Gatorade, and she said that's what would, you know, drink two big Gatorades, that's 64 ounces, two 32-ounce Gatorades, that's 64 ounces, and that will get you used to drinking your water. Um, but for the past couple of days, she's not eating enough. She's taking her vitamins, but she's not eating enough, and she's not... Um, Yeah, she's not drinking enough fluids, so I've been on her and told her I she's scaring me. I said, do you want to end up in the hospital around other people that might have the coronavirus and then catch the coronavirus while you're in the hospital? Not to mention they're going to stick this big needle in your arm because you're dehydrated so they can pump you full of fluids. She thinks I'm kidding. She doesn't take me seriously. 
I mean, she doesn't think I'm kidding. But I think she doesn't really think that it could happen to her. But I'm like, girl, shit's okay. Man. But anyway. Oh, God, that cat. It's knocked something over. I don't know what. Oh, my God. Mm. Mm. I gotta find him a home or at least a big barn or something for him to go in. He is just too playful. I mean, it's, it's, he's just too playful. But he's a people cat, too. He loves people. Anyway. I'm gonna go. I gotta go to bed. I'm worried about my daughter. I'm not worried about the babies anymore because they're fine. Um, but anyway, but like I said, I'll, I'll put my name below. So, if you just look up my name on Facebook. Um, I think my, my Facebook channel is, uh, my Facebook page is uh, public. Anyway. But, um, if you send me a friend request, I'll accept it. Either way. But I think most of you are already my friends on Facebook anyway. <laughs> anyway. Alright. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.